I say we get rid of all the militaries on the planet and have one quick reactionary force with all the countries uh, supplying some manpower from each country. That way everybody's happy that nobody's doing anything wrong. And uh, if there's a problem on the planet somewhere, which I don't know how there could be if there's no militaries, and everybody still have a police force that isn't militarized, that, I mean, what kind of problems would you have? Why would you need a military? You could use all the money you use on militaries for food, your economy, to make uh, bring all the people out of starvation or whatever because they're overbreeding and you can't keep them from breeding because they're idiots. But uh, why would that be... A bad problem I mean why why would that not be agreed upon on this planet I mean it's like these leaders don't have a brain in their head they just all they think about is their self-indulgent narcissistic uh, egos or something you know they but it's been traditionalized and handed down they just step into a clown suit of traditionalized egotism you know instead of adopting better ideas Unless they've stolen them. They, everybody, all these countries are afraid to say, oh, that's a good idea, let's adopt that. Because they think, well, uh, they're going to say if we adopt this uh, idea, then we're following them. Shoot, it's one little freaking idea. All the stuff you got in your military, and everybody's got rifles, everybody's got guns. Who had the first rifle? Who had the first gun? Who had the first tank? So basically, if you have tanks, then you're following that country and that makes you a uh, subordinate to whatever country because you have tanks you have aircraft you're a subordinate to whoever had the first aircraft i mean you know get real